What's up YouTube? I wanted to show you this for you guys that are having thinning issues. Now this client does not have thinning locks but I'm going to use her head to show you something. For those say for instance we're going to use this lock right here. Say for instance this is thinning around this base. What I would do is one I would start by doing the interlocking method bringing say if this part was thin I would bring this thin part into my base. So once that I bring that part into the base, I then would do a light sew-in technique, just a light, maybe go through it three or four times to bring in, make a new base, kind of, and as it grows, that part that you sew is just going to grow into the lock as the lock grows. Um, so one, I would advise starting with a light interlocking method where you would just go through the lock, bringing the thinner hairs, say if you wanted to alleviate all of this up into this part. I would do a locking, interlocking till I got the thicker part where I wanted it to be. Then here I would just do a light thread sew through just so that it would hold into place as it grows out. You don't want to put too much tension or too much um, product or add more hair to that because then that would make the end of your lock too heavy for your base. And so that could be a really, really, really big issue and that also could take you out of the game a lot quicker. Once you do this, I would leave it alone for about a month to two months. Allow your hair to grow. Allow that base to start forming again. I wouldn't put anything on there but light products and maybe a spray. No gels, no ponytails, no pullbacks or anything. I would just leave it alone and let it go. Sometimes you just have to allow the hair to reset itself and come back into it. For those that have thinning locks, smaller locks, or locks that are pretty much around, let's say, here's a good one, around this size, I don't recommend a every week maintenance. I don't even recommend a every two weeks. Give it once a month, twist that hair, train it, and let it go. As you see here, she just came from under the dryer, and from its edges on back, she's good to go. There's no gel, there's no flaking, there is no dryness, there's no nothing. And you see, they are moving, there's no... I can take my hand and just screw this up, bam, back where we started, and that's what that's what lock maintaining is going to should be about. If you're going to implement this, cleaning up all of this so that she that person can look human and have a decent head of hair. Do not, do not. I'm gonna say this a million times. Do not twist that hair every day, every week. And do not let no one tell you that you need to twist your hair every week to every two weeks. If they do, figure out why. Figure out what they're trying to achieve in your head and where you're going. Don't just allow a person to say, yeah, I can twist. Yeah, I can do that. Bring me some of that stuff from Walgreens. Hell no. No ma'am. No ma'am. No sir. No ma'am. No Pam. Mm -mm, that's not going to work. So, again, try that. Try using a light amount of thread on your basis to make sure that you have that lock part where you need to be. Do a small amount of the interlocking and leave it alone. Just leave it completely alone and give it a month, two months, and once you get back in the game, you'll be good to go. So check me out for more. I have more insight, more videos. Peace.